What's up, Technobo here for Servo Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using interactive chat. Interactive chat is a plugin that adds the ability to share items and inventories in chat. Hover over them, read the name and lore as if they were in your own inventory. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Search for interactive chat, then install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that this plugin also requires the protocol lib and placeholder API plugins to work properly. On top of that, for some functions to work later, we'll need to add other plugins. Those include Vault, Essentials, and Multiverse Core. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Upon joining the server for the first time, you need to run a few commands for everything to work properly. Entering open bracket inf close bracket into chat shows us percentage player name percentage instead of our actual name and other placeholders don't work properly. Simply run slash PAPI eCloud download player then slash PAPI reload to refresh the placeholder plugin. Now everything should work properly. Why exactly do we need to do this? Well, Placeholder API requires you to download expansions in order to function. There are four main features. The first are item display functions. In chat, we can enter open square brackets, INV, close square brackets, and open brackets, ender, close brackets, to link our inventories. Anyone can open chat and click on our text. Then they're able to explore our inventory and look at the items inside of it. Item sends just the item in your hand into chat. Clicking it shows just this item in a new GUI window. The second is custom interactive chat keywords. The default example included with the plugin is open bracket money, close bracket. This shows your balance to everyone on the server when they hover over it. This of course requires Vault and an economy plugin of your choice. I'm using Essentials. Then if the plugin is showing percentage signs instead of your balance, run slash PAPI eCloud download Vault. Clicking their balance enters slash pay player's name, which lets you quickly send payments to another player. There are also a few other examples. Sun Nights highlights the text and offers to take you to the plugin author's website. Game Time says the in-game time, and Hover is a sample of basic Hover text. The third is an interactive player name. Hovering over a player's name shows what world they're currently in. This of course only works if the server has the Multiverse plugin installed. If you already have it installed and the plugin is showing percentage signs instead of your world, run slash PAPI eCloud download Multiverse. Clicking the player's name enters slash message followed by the name in chat for you to PM them instantly. The fourth and final main feature is player mentioning. If someone else on the server mentions your name, you'll see a huge pop-up letting you know that someone mentioned your name in chat, bringing your attention to the message. Of course, this feature and all other features are customizable in the config. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Opening config.yml, we have all of the settings for the plugin. While this config is rather long, it's very easy to understand. To save space, the description of each option has been moved to the plugin spigot page. For more detailed information on each option, check the default config section on that page. Because of this, I won't cover every option here, but I'll cover a few of the important ones. Updater checks for updates on plugin load. Messages contain some localization for the plugin, but there are lots of options that have some localization for the plugin in them later. Line 38, allow mention, allows us to toggle whether we see a big banner when someone says our name in chat. Below it, we have some options to customize how this pop-up appears for players if you choose to have it enabled. Line 47, item display allows you to customize the inventory, item and enter chest functions, which we saw earlier in the first feature highlight. We can change how it appears in chat, change the keyword to trigger it in case we don't want to use INV and instead we want to use inventory instead for an example. Cooldowns and some localization are also available here. Line 83 player lets us customize how hovering over a player's name and clicking on it works. In case you don't use multiverse or want to hide this information, you can enable or disable it entirely or simply swap out the placeholder. Line 95 are custom placeholders. We saw one earlier with money. 
I won't cover this in detail as it's easy to build your own one from the examples that are already here. We can simply add a new number and copy and paste from previous examples to make our own. Pass player lets us pick if placeholders are placed on our side or on the recipient's side. So sender would be for us and viewer would be for other players. Text are the keywords that get replaced, stylized, or have actions applied to them. Case sensitive lets us choose whether it needs to be typed exactly or not to work. Hover lets us set hover actions and we can disable it here completely. Click lets us set click actions, so when it's clicked, it can do something special, like enter text into the player's chat or offer to take us to another website. Possible actions for click can be open URL, open file, run command, suggest command, change page, and copy the clipboard. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!